Well, welcome back. Welcome back. This is Celebrity Sports Call, and I'm your host, Harold Bell. Our next guest on the line needs no introduction. But like I always say, a guy that needs no introduction uh, evidently hasn't done anything. And this guy has done it all. He's called the greatest player ever to play in the NFL. And Red Arback said, you know, when you start talking about all around great athletes, two names constantly comes up, come up. And that's Jim Brown and Jackie Robinson. Now let me introduce you to the great Jim Brown. The National Football League of Russia. He was rookie of the year, all pro first team, the most valuable player three times. And before him, uh, the, the award had only been uh, won once. He led the league in rushing in eight of, eight of the nine years that he played in the league. He's in the National Football League Hall of Fame, also in the Lacrosse Hall of Fame. And the rest is American and black sports history. And I'm talking about Jim. Jim, before we get too deep into uh, sports history, let's talk about something else. I want to, because I know this is something that you always wanted to talk about. I remember you here in Washington, D.C., and uh, you were live at my, on my other show. The one thing that you went out with that I never got back to, you said, don't forget South Africa. Now, some things have gone down, and we're talking about the legalization of, of the black nationalists and politics uh, by the, the, new, the new president, President D. Clerk. What does this all mean, Jim? Well, actually, uh, what it really means, Carl, is that uh, South Africa Yes, I'm here, Jim. Great. Mm -hmm. and, and wealth. And there's a great connection between Israel, America, and South Africa when it comes to uh, those resources. And in order to protect that, they had to make certain, I mean, uh, they had to go back on certain things that they didn't want to. Now, what it truly means is that one day, the majority might possibly have a chance to, re to uh, rule because what the majority wants is one man, one vote. Jim, of course, I was reading something, uh, too, from South Africa. Uh, another thing that I was reading, Jim, that uh, the South African foreign minister uh, in the paper today said that there's the two faces of Jesse Jackson appearing in South Africa at the moment. And he said Jesse is talking about out on both sides of his mouth. He said Je Jesse is saying one th thing to uh, the South African ambassador, and then when... Uh, 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 Bishop Tutu comes on the scene, Jesse is coming out a different way, and he says it's very confusing, and he thinks that Jesse is causing a whole lot of problems over there. Now, I'm kind of confused, uh, too, with Jesse, and uh, I'm kind of confused with any individual that always shows up on the scene uh, when everybody else is about to be put in the spotlight. Jim, of course, you guys just did something out in L.A. with uh, uh, Minister Farrakhan, where, of course, uh, uh, young black men were having problems with uh, the the police department out there, and I'm quite sure you guys need all the support that you uh, could, could, uh, <laughs> could, you know, you could get up. Did Jesse show out there for that gym, and how did that come off? Well, we're too radical for Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Over 17,000 people at the sports arena, 3,000 outside. Is that right? Uh, because Mr. Farrakhan was there to address the subject of stop the killing, mm -hmm. representing uh, a nation of people that want to black on black crimes and stop the gang mm -hmm. and has the respect. Now that should be a place that any free black American should be. But let me just give you this about Jesse being in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Obviously Jesse can't help anything in South Africa. South Africa is a very complex situation as far as the blacks are concerned because of the tribal differences. Mm -hmm. uh, the, AN the ANC is one organization that's based the leading organization that Mandela of course headed up. Bishop Tutu has been a force of reason. Uh, you have one king, I forget his name, that uh, Zulu, that is in opposition almost to everyone. Uh, so when you go in there, you have Winnie Mandela, and the problem that Winnie has had uh, uh, in the last two or three years, mm -hmm. and you must understand that Nelson must have a, he must have a strategy because he could have been out of jail, I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. but 
know, uh, maybe time has passed him by because needing the self gratification by chasing all those headlines can cause a lot of problems in a nation that's very complex, uh, both from the standpoint of the Africanos versus the other versus the other whites and the various tribal influences that you have there. Mm -hmm. All right, that was uh, the one and only Jim Brown talking about South Africa and the two faces of Jesse Jackson. We'll be right back uh, to talk with Jim about Nelson Mandela and his impact and uh, what, how he left South Africa a better place uh, than he found it. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the great Jim Brown. 